Welcome back to Roker on the Road. In Italy, back in 1441, a bride's dowry not only included money, but the entire town of Cremona. Well, to commemorate this, some pastry chefs created a pastry in the shape of the town's tower called a Torona. Today, we know that dessert as Torone. And if you want to find some of the best Torone, you've got to go to Bostone. Torone in the morning, Torone at night, Torone all the time. What's got us all singing this tune? We'll give you a few clues. This would be great with coffee, particularly after dinner or just for a mid-afternoon snack. It's not too sweet, but it's got a nice taste. If you're still stumped but you want a bite, you better head to Boston's North End and the Modern Pastry Shop to check out their Italian specialty, Torone, a nougat candy made with almonds. Torone is one of the oldest confections made in Sicily. The Picarello family has been perfecting the Italian delicacy for three generations right here in the States. It's, it's in our blood. Today, brother and sister team Sarah McGee and John, a.k.a. Junior Picarello, are keeping Papa Picarello proud and holding on tight to his secret recipes. How many people know the recipe? Um, only three people. Who, what, what's the Myself, uh -huh. my father, and my brother. Yeah. And so that is it. That's it? That's it. It's not written down anywhere. Nobody else Let's make some taroni. It's a very temperamental product, and um, depending on the temperature, so outside. So it has to be made by hand. Oh, without a doubt, by eye. Next, we're throwing in plenty of almonds to bind the nougat. So now you're, you're just pressing the yes. almonds down? And you don't want to touch the... Um, if you notice, my hand's not going in yeah, all the way. Yeah, you're not going into the nougat. Oh, no, no, you burn yourself. It's, it's, oh, because it's, it's really it's, hot? It's very hot. It's scorching. Oh, and there it is. And you got some, you got some nougat on. Yes. That's why we let professionals do this. Yes. Not amateurs. I think we're going to need a little reinforcement in the kitchen, so we're calling in Johnny to do the dirty work. What's, what's, what's next, Johnny? Once Johnny's done scooping our hot tarone into the pan, we're off and running. A little rolling here, some slicing there. Bada bing, bada boom, here's Johnny. Now, basically what we're doing for you is we're going to teach you how to make espresso tarone. Ooh. We're mixing up some dark chocolate with ground espresso and some coarse espresso beans just for texture. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the whole bar of tarone, we're going to coat the entire bar and place it back on the tray, and that's it. Now it's time to see if Papa Picarello approves. Bye-bye. Cut my piece out? Oh, sure. Oh, sir. Tell me, tell me what you think, sir. The best. <laughs> it looks good? Very, very good. It, it meets your approval? Perfect. One down. Any other takers? Al, great job. My espresso torone was a hit, but the original white torone is still the number one seller. Love the almonds in it. They're big and generous. So, great. Closing in are flavors like caramel. You gotta eat this slow. Chocolate. It's pretty sinful. Cappuccino. And the larger than life holiday Tarone with candied fruits. I think the only thing better than one Tarone is two Taronis. <laughs> and once you've tried all the Tarone, there's plenty more to keep you chewing. There's traditional tiramisu, carrot cake, chocolate peanut butter mousse cake, and strawberry cheesecake. And with all this baking, you better believe everybody in this family pitches in. Here you go. At Christmas time, we always have torrone, which is sort of a soft, sometimes hard candy that's filled with nuts. And I've heard if I want the best torrone, I've got to come here to Modern Pastry. This pastry shop has been here more than 70 years. For generations, the Picarello family has been making all the pastries, cookies, and candies from authentic Southern Italian recipes. And Torrone is a family specialty. And at Modern Pastry, they have so many different variations to satisfy every sweet craving. Wow, look at all these Torrone. We've got some peanut butter with little peanut butter chips on top. And I've heard a lot about this one, the hazelnut Torrone and caramel and chocolate. Yum. Traditional white torrone. Torrone starts with a nougat base. Scoops of sugar and a little water are simmered to create the perfect caramel. That gets added to whipped egg whites and honey. 
Then almonds go in, and it all becomes a deliciously sticky mass. All right, Paul, we'll move this tray down here. You want to help me out? Sure. All right. Press it all the way down so it's flush at the bottom of the tray. Okay. Squish it and form it. After the nougat is pressed in the pans, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. It's time to add another delicious layer of texture and flavor. Okay, so how long do these need to set? Uh, well, 24 hours. All right, and can we cut one of those? Any of those ready? Yeah, we do have some in the All right, so let's cut them. My favorite Totonet modern pastry is coated in rich dark chocolate and chunks of coffee beans. Coffee powder is swirled into melted chocolate, and then the coffee beans are stirred in, creating a perfect pool to dip the torrone into. So, dunk it in. <laughs> I can smell the chocolate and the coffee together. It smells heavenly. With the work that goes into each torrone, it's hard to believe that at Modern Pastry, they hand dip every single one. And during the holidays, they make huge batches of torrone every day. And now, whose recipe is this? This is my guess. Yeah, nice. My father's been perfecting this for years. I mean, he's been doing it for 30 years, just trying to uh, invent new flavors. And, you know, it, it comes from the hot and soul. Getting my hands into all that chocolate is a dream. It's almost impossible to wait for the torrone to cool and set before taking a bite. Can I taste one? Oh, yeah, go for it. We're going to taste. Go for it. That one. Oh, it's already solidified. I like a big bite. Mm. It's gooey inside. And the chocolate with the, with the coffee, I am happy.